This is Denver 7 On Demand. Hello everyone, I'm Jason Grenauer with the latest from Denver 7. Members of the Colorado National Guard could be headed to the Mexico border. Governor John Hickenlooper says if the president were to ask, he wouldn't be opposed. He pointed out that the state has sent troops to the border in the past. A woman found zip tied inside a dumpster in Vail apparently made her story up. 31-year-old Linnea Haida is accused of false reporting and tampering with evidence. Investigators spent more than 200 hours trying to figure out who did this to her, only to realize it wasn't true. A new drought map shows most of our state is still in severe drought. But Denver Water says it's not time to water your lawns or shrubs. They say the hot to cold temperature change could cause your pipes to crash. Well, wait until the last freeze. That usually happens on the first week of May. And from the First Alert Weather Center, we're under a First Alert Action Day. Meteorologist Mike Nelson has you covered. Jason's going to be a wild next 24 hours as much colder air comes in behind a cold front from 79 Thursday afternoon to just down into the low 30s by midnight Saturday morning with a couple of inches of snow. Windy conditions expected, blizzard conditions on the far eastern plains, and then milder over the weekend and maybe a few showers again next Tuesday. Thank you, Michael. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later for another update, especially on that blizzard warning. And download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jason Grenauer.